this sensor is faulty. So, this will give us the cross mark. To program the MX sensor with TS508, we will go to advanced mode, select the vehicle Nissan Altima and select the model year, TPMS diagnosis. Next, we will go and trigger the sensor, one, next this one, this car has a problem with two of the sensors. There is no sensor in this tire, so once we trigger. This sensor is faulty, so this will give us the cross mark. Next up, what we will do is read the sensor. Turn on the ignition for the car. After this, we will connect the OBD cable. Next, we will turn on the TS508. We have already triggered the two sensors that are working. This car has a problem with two of the sensors. So now, next what you have to do is take a picture of these sensor IDs that are working. This will help us to copy the data from the ECU. I will take a picture. Next, I will go to program sensor, copy by OBD, make sure the ignition is on, the OBD cable is connected to the car and the TS508 will now read the sensor IDs from the car. Now as you can see there are four sensor IDs shown from the ECU, here the sensor ID that ends on 14F and A1C is already working. So irrespective of the location of the sensor, we will just copy the sensor IDs that are not working for this sensor. It means that we will skip this A1C sensor ID and other two IDs we will copy to the MX sensor. So we will take an MX sensor, take out it from the box and copy the sensor ID to the MX sensor. This way the sensor IDs from the ECU are transferred to the MX sensor. Make sure that you do not duplicate the sensor IDs that are already working in the car. We will copy the next sensor ID to the another MX sensor as we require two TPMS sensor for this car. We have programmed the sensor before installing it in the tire. We will just make a relearn. We will go to position relearn. OBD relearn. Next, clear the data. Further, we'll now trigger the four sensors. Now we'll trigger the second tire. Third. Now this sensor is outside, so that's why if you see, now it will show low pressure sensor. Here you can see 0.3 and 0.3. Once the procedure is completed, we will install them back in the tire. As soon as you trigger the last sensor, it will ask you to connect the OBD cable of the car. Connect the OBD cable to the car and press Y. Now all the sensor IDs from the sensors will be transferred to the ECU. As you can see, writing sensor ID to the ECU. This procedure is called the relearn that helps you to write the sensor ID accordingly to the sensors installed in the tire. If you can see here now, now as you can see in the instrument cluster, the left both sensor that we have programmed is showing 0 PSI 
as soon as the customer will go to a tire shop and install them in back in the tire it will show the real pressure now the programming is done so this is the procedure to install mx sensor in almost all kind of nissan toyota lexus vehicles where you can add one two or all four sensors to your car